In this video, I'll show you how I modify the shader, turning water into lava. Source code for this project is down in the description, and if you find this helpful, please subscribe. So let's slide in. So Bramwell has made some tutorials on water shaders, uh, which are linked below, and he also provides the shader on GitHub. We can simply hit code and download zip, and then we can open up our files. And in downloads, we have our water shader. We can extract all, then we can open it up, and we can go into grow. And then we want the water shader.res. I'm gonna drag this into my project, and then we will make this a 3D scene. I'm gonna drag in a model I have, which is a fountain, and I want to apply the shader to the water or in this case lava. So I'm gonna select the waterfall mesh and open up the mesh, open up the surface zero, and it's not letting me change the material. So I will have to hit the drop down arrow and make it unique, open it up again. And now we can actually drag in the water shader into the material and we can open it up and open the shader up. There are two issues with it right now. And one is that I don't like it being transparent. And that's on the alpha. Right now it's set to 0.8. I'm gonna set it to 1 so it's not transparent anymore. Another issue is from below. If it's not a flat mesh, let's say it's just a big old plane or a cube, it might work better. But since this is a more complex shape, it tries to move the shape to make it look like it's actually moving. But it doesn't work very well for this, so it leaves gaps. So you click on fragment and then vertex and this basically moves the vertices on the mesh and you can just drag out the vertex from the output and it will stop doing that. And we can go back to the fragment mode and let's start off by the color. We will change this to uh, orange color. If you make it fully red it won't work uh, for some reason and then we have to go into the actual shader parameter and for some reason it doesn't sync up so we have to reset it so now both are orange so the vector operator wants to change it from add to power and then we want to change the mix from vector 3 to vector 2 and right now it's fully yellow and to fix that we have to either click on the shader itself to open up the flags and modes or just double click on the other shader and we have to make it unshaded. That will make it fully yellow pretty much. And to fix that, we can mess with the float operator. So this one, we can either increase or decrease to get as much uh, red in it as you want. I think this is a pretty good value. And to make it right now, it's perfect for a simple cube. So let's make this 20 by 20. And let's drag in the shader. That's really good but i want a little bit more red on it maybe something like that one issue i'm having is let's see i'm gonna make it a little bit darker but not too dark because as you see if you make it fully red it will freak out so you have to make it red but not too red so it will have to be just on the edge of max red that will look a lot better i'm actually gonna give that to the other one as well where I'm gonna set it to the shader and then we can reset the, the value. Or maybe for this one, it actually looked better. Yeah, no matter. Um, I'm gonna increase the power, yeah, something like that. And then we can mess with the pattern since I don't like the current pattern. So we can open up the texture 2D on them. And then on the noise, fast noise light, I'm gonna change it to Perlin and mess with the values a little bit. I think I like something like this. Then I'm gonna make it ping pong and I'm gonna make that one so it's more simple pattern. And I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna copy it, paste it to this other one. And I'm also gonna make it maybe not as much. I'm gonna make it more simple. So maybe something like, like that. Copy it and paste it to the other one. Here we can also rename the shader to lava shader. We can duplicate it and call it lava fall shader. And on the waterfall, I'm gonna remove the shader and drag in the fall shader. Open up the fall shader. And it's as simple as changing the panning of these two. And here you want to make it zero. 
and you could make this 0.4 no you want it to be minus 0.4 and then you do the same on this one so zero and minus 0.4 one thing you might be seeing is when i'm moving close to it it's clipping with the other shader and there's a simple fix for that you just select the waterfall which i want to be in front of the lava so select these and then you open up the material and you see render priority just make that a higher value than the one below and it will always be shown in front of it so now when i move around it will look amazing i do believe we have to increase the power a little bit for it to glow a little bit more i'm not sure but if we do that i'm gonna increase them because i think that looks a little bit better actually yeah but you can mess around with it to get something you like changing the actual uh, noise will make the largest difference thanks for watching if you want to support our work and have your name be featured in future videos check out our kofa in the description and we will see you in the next one